The largest terrestrial biome, the boreal forest, also known as taiga, makes up about 17% of the Earth's land surface area. The boreal forest only exists in the northern hemisphere and is found mainly between latitudes of 50 degrees north to 60 degrees north. This biome occurs in Alaska, Canada, Russia, Finland, Mongolia, Norway, Scotland, and Scandinavia. Some variants of the boreal forest also occur in the contiguous United States at high elevations in the Rocky Mountains and Appalachian Mountains. The boreal forest's range and extent has changed over time due to glaciation from the last ice age that pushed this biome southward. As the last ice age came to an end, the boreal forest followed the melting of the glaciers northward, which has led this biome to its current positioning. The boreal forest is a subarctic climate that experiences long, extremely cold winters and short, cool summers. Precipitation can vary from about 8 inches to 80 inches, with the vast majority of this precipitation falling as snow. The most prominent driver of the boreal forest climate are the high latitudes that they are found in. High latitudes receive more indirect sunlight than lower latitudes and thus experience less solar radiation. In the summer, the sun can stay above the horizon for nearly 20 hours a day, and in the winter, the sun can sometimes be out for as little as six hours. The boreal forest high latitudes are to blame for its extremely harsh winters. Elevation can also be a driver of the climate needed for boreal forests to occur as colder temperatures are found at higher elevations. The physical geography of this biome has been shaped by the glaciation events that occurred in the last ice age. The topography of the boreal forest can be mountainous, but mainly exists as lowlands that have been shaped by the movement of glaciers. A layer of sediment from these glaciers lies on top of deeply buried bedrock. Soils in this biome are young and considered to be spotosols, which are acidic and poor in nutrients. Permafrost exists toward the northern extents of this biome. Lakes, rivers, streams, and wetlands are abundant in the boreal forest due to the melting of glaciers and melting of annual snowfall. Forest fires are a common disturbance in the boreal forest that is necessary to keep the forest young and healthy. Dense stands of coniferous spruce, pine, and fir trees are the defining flora of this biome. Life in the taiga must be hardy in order to survive. Conifers have adapted to survive the harsh boreal winters by having waxy needles as leaves that shed snow and produce chemicals that make them resistant to freezing. Mosses, lichens, and mushrooms are also common. Some fauna that characterize this biome are moose, bear, wolves, snowshoe hare, and bobcats. Birds migrate south in the winter and some animals hibernate to escape the cold. Others have adapted by having thick fur coats. Small mammals dig burrows to escape the frigid cold. While biodiversity in the boreal forest is typically low, boreal forests are one of the world's major carbon sinks and are estimated to produce a quarter of the world's oxygen. The greatest threat to the boreal forest biome currently is the fossil fuel industry. Fossil fuel extraction in the boreal forest is on the rise and does not look like it will slow down anytime soon. Tar sand extraction sites cover large areas in the forest that must be clear cut logged first. Pipelines, roads, open pits, and seismic lines fragment the forest, reducing populations and biodiversity of plant and animal life. Fossil fuel extraction also taints water quality in this biome and ultimately results in the degradation of this pristine biome. An increasing amount of areas are being designated as reserves and protected areas to address this environmental issue in the boreal forest.